closed captioning is brought to you by Insect Defend Patch, deep free protection from biting insects. People regularly go to our website and they go to Ask a Tallow and ask me questions about fishing deep water. They say, how can I get to fish that are down below 50 feet without using downriggers? And I tell them, well, you've got two options. One is to use a steel line. And when I say steel line, it could be lead core, it could be copper or stainless steel like the one I'm holding up in my hand because of course the metal lines sink. But to get down to 50 feet, you're gonna to have to have a lot of line out, anywhere from 300 to 500 feet of line. Or you have an option of using what we call a diving device. And that's what I'm holding in my hand here. These are called Dipsy Divers. They're made by Lure Jensen. And they're diving discs that you attach to your line, which will dive vertically, but you can also set the angle so they can dive out from one side of the boat or the other. So this is where a Dipsy Diver works extremely well. The advantage of the Dipsy Diver as a diving device is that it'll dive down, but when you hook a fish and you set the hook, it'll release the diving mechanism. And then it's just a disc that's in line when you're fighting the fish. So even if you're fighting small fish, let's say under five pounds, it doesn't really interfere with the fight. You're not dragging extra gear down there. So either using a metal line, which works really well in inland lakes, for, especially for lake trout where the bottom is up and down, or you're using the Dipsy Divers in open water, you can get down to fish deep without using a downrigger. Here at Kasagami Lodge, most of the people come for pike, but there's so many walleye that you can catch them all day long, literally anywhere in the lake. Now, you don't really need to bring heavy-duty walleye fishing rods and reels. What I've done on this trip, I've brought up three outfits that are very light action. The three that I'm holding up, two are spinning outfits. One is called an Avantis, one is an F2, that's for finesse two, two-piece, and the other one is technique-specific, two-piece. And all of these are light line rated. This one is a two to six pound test outfit. This is a two to eight pound test, and this is a medium action bait caster. But the one thing that they all have in common is that they're two-piece. You can see right here. And that makes them ideal when you're going on a fly-in trip. Now you also notice that they're all cork grip handles, and they're called split grip. So not all the handle is cork. You can see that there's some blank exposed on all three of them. This makes them a little bit lighter and very sensitive. So you can actually feel those fish a lot better. And all three are loaded with a very light titanium braid. These two reels have the blue line, which is the ice fishing line. And I like using it because it's such a low diameter. So I'm holding up the line right here. You can see that this particular line is six pound test, but it only has one pound test monofilament diameter. Now, in addition to using that light line, we're also using a fluorocarbon leader. Okay, so here's the leader material. And this particular leader material is 10 pound test. So the reason I like to use the 10 pound leader material, it's a little bit stiffer. So it's a little bit more abrasion resistance and the fish can't see it. Here at Kasagami though, the water isn't crystal clear. It's got tannins in it, so it's a tea colored. But you can see here, there's the clear fluorocarbon material and then the main lines which are colored. These two are blue and this one is more of a green color. So really these are all the outfits you need if you want to do some serious walleye fishing. And even though most of the walleye here are anywhere from one to three pounds, they do catch walleye up to 33 inches long. And those are walleye that are between eight and 12 pounds in size. So you take some ultralight outfits and then you can take a break from catching those big pike and get a whole bunch of walleye. You know what's crazy here? I said to Bill, I was rigging up a line and I cast out and just let my jig sit there. And I, I, maybe we we're, we're shouldn't be jigging. These fish are just swimming around and they'll pick your jigs up right off the bottom. This is amazing. This is a perfect place to bring someone that hasn't fished. I'm not saying you haven't fished before, okay? Right. Someone that doesn't really fish because they're gonna catch fish, yeah. you know? There's lots good of fish. Size. Look at this, too big for shore lunch. This is awesome. Look at the size of these fish. You don't have one on yet? Oh, okay. Keep working at it. I'll just try to get this guy in the net. Okay, he's in the net. You know, these nets are so handy, even though it looks small. It's gonna hold this guy up. You know what? I got bad news, he may be too big to keep. We're gonna measure it in a minute. That nice walleye. Look at that, they're so long and healthy. Barb, How here's a tape measure. Well, here's a tape measure. Okay. Okay, 
Yep. I'm going to hold it up. You can just put it on the outside. Okay. And actually, we're going to put it right on this board right here. Hopefully, okay. it won't thrash around too much. Yeah. Okay? Squeeze so the tail. from the zero mark. Yep. Where is he here? 21? 21. Perfect. 21 inch fish. So he's a beautiful walleye, but here at the lodge they've got the policy that only fish between 14 and 18 inches are uh, to be kept for shore lunch. So we're going to be releasing this guy. You know, I could just release it in the water, but I'm going to use this Lucky Strike net because it's, look at, they call it a live release basket net and you can see why. It's not too deep. Be nice to get a really big walleye to see how the net handles it. I'm just going to let him swim out of the top, and there he goes. So it's nice to have the tape measure. Stu, our guide, had it on him. So this is kind of nice because you can either cast and retrieve or just vertical jig. Canadian Sport Fishing, brought to you in part by Suffix, the world's most hardcore fishing line. Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. Sale, the outdoors superstore. Lucky Strike. All you need is a Lucky Strike. If you're casting these spoons in very heavy weeds, you would cast it so that it hits the surface and you would just be pulling it and jerking it so that it's going over the top of the weed so the fish see the underside, the bright color. If you get to an area where there's an open pocket, you let the spoon flutter down. It has a very nice fluttering action. And if you have some open water, you retrieve the spoon and it goes from side to side. This is a traditional spoon action. Now, some of the best colors are chartreuse with a little bit of orange, like this one here. This particular color with a nice flash. And then also the straight silver. 